Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Sims 3. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. Ah, so. Oh, I am doing 87 large amount of points from a loading screen. Yay. Ah, alright, can we get over her? Alright. So. I have recently become extremely disgruntled with our <clears throat> roommate. And her annoying tendency to not die. So, yeah. Hmm, not great, huh? Alright. Have a quick meal. Have some canned soup. I've decided to take matters more personally. As we all know from someone who likes to play Crusader Kings 2, you might happen to know that I like to try and make deaths look like accidents. So, you know. And, you know, have a fire in the middle of the night next to somebody's bed, it could totally be an accident. Well, I've given up on that. I actually installed a new mod to make this more entertaining. Ugh, hang in there. Ugh. Family inventory, and you. This is Dexter the bear. It's a special little bear that allows me to commit murder when it's in my inventory. And I mean, full, proper murder. Uh, funny, friendly, greet, no, I don't know. Roommates, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out here. It says that in the inventory, oh yeah, right, I have to do this. Select a stim to stab with knife, select him to bash with poker. Selects him to stab with sword, and selects him to bash with hammer. Yes. So, I have Dexter the bear now, and he will be, uh, shall we say, the key to committing murder here. Yeah. I now see it as the only option. Sometimes, you just gotta commit murder, you know? The fuck? I'm pretty that ain't even your bed, bro. Eh, whatever. That woman shall be mine. Well, I'm talking about the woman I enjoy the company of. Not the woman I'm going to murder. She will be killed, but, uh, you know. She's not even home, so... Well, what do we need right now? We have a little fun. Alright. Always fun when the game lags. Yeah, sure. You, you can do that. What? Is everyone just fucking afraid to come home because of a psychotic roommate? I hate it when you have psychotic roommates who try and murder each other. Oh, oh she's home. I mean, I suppose I can always just find her the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Mm. Do. This doesn't surprise <laughs> me in the slightest. Perch, Laka, <laughs> yeah, of course she can't get along well with anybody. I'll be doing the world a favor soon enough. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. What can I do here? Neeb, neeb. I don't know. She's really hungry, so... I was kind of expecting her to come home at some point. Well, she's still at like 3 a.m. We'll hunt her down. We'll hunt her down. I've given up on the, you know, the accidental deaths, and decided direct murder is the answer. Mm. Mm. Alright, enough with the racing games. Go sit over there and talk to her. You know, in a friendly way. Um... Uh, that's a bad day, I don't know. 
How was your day? No, don't do that. Yeah. She's big and cleaning up, whatever. Well, if you're tired, go to bed. Alright. Sure, I guess you can play chess. We're still waiting on this crazy bitch who's busy out on the plaza. We can only hunt her down if she's alone. <laughs> there can be no witnesses. That's also because this mod will totally call the police on you. If there's witnesses. Jump out! Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. Alright. Oh, she's really tired. Oh. All right. Well, whatever. Ah, <sighs> we'll figure out how to get her. Only one day left until the term ends. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sakes! Everyone's like half awake. I'm just gonna fucking pass out. I suppose that is my fault. I've been kind of lighting things on fire every night, haven't I? I suppose that does probably make it pretty hard to sleep. You still at the fucking plaza? Yeah, just sitting there bobbing your head. Mm. I have no idea what the hell. Oh. I see. So you're just gonna sit there bobbing your head. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Looking for her. Waiting. She has to come home eventually. You. Go sleep now. In the same bed as her. Ah! Deep! Gamma do? It's a bed ownership. Coming from here. Sleep. Oh, it actually literally won't let me in there because she's in there. That is moderately disappointing. As a side note, I should probably move this back. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. And especially now I can't burn down that room. She's in there. Too risky. Good, mop up the puddle. Alright. Okay. This is it. We're gonna use a fire poker, I think. Don't mind me, just walking around with a uh, fire poker. Do, 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 do. It's late at night, nobody's around. Perfect. Victim has moved, failed to kill. Alright, so maybe this isn't perfect. But we'll try. She's sitting down on a chair. How about you just stay there? Do I have to turn off your autonomy? I think I do. Uh, we're going to do this one way or another here. Disable autonomy for selected sim. There. Alright, I think that worked. That was about the worst way to do that. <laughs> well, it worked. Creeped out. Horrified.
What's up, bro? Yep. Burn, bitch, burn. Mm, lovely. He's still talking to my roommate, too. I swear to God, if the Grim Reaper grants her a second chance. Good. Oh. 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 She's dead, yes. Put on the phony stuff. Res what? What? No, hell, hell, no, hell, hell, no, no. That fucking ain't happening. Also, why the hell can't I talk to her? Seriously. Morning. Chewbacca, you creeped out. Well, Keith. Barney. That's a mood killer for the next you seven Chewbacca. fucking days. Keith Holy Lair. shit. Yeah, oh. Uh, uh, mm. All right. Well. That sucks. I would deal with murder much better. I know from experience. I mean, what? Well, considering what I can carved on her epitaph. Well. And apparently they use moved objects to get that into place. You know what? I think I'm going to use moved objects to get that into place as well. Oh, no, wait, I can't even open the console. Never mind. Just, whatever that works. Romantic. Maybe we can fly the Grim Reaper. Apparently, I can't talk to her at all. Which sucks, but oh well. Eh. I don't know why. Whatever. No oh, quit your morning. I mean, seriously. Uh, I guess we'll have to take a week off university. I mean, besides, if your roommate dies in a freak accident uh, involving a fire poker, you get straight A's automatically, right? Right? That's how it works, right? <laughs> uh. Oh well, either way, that's a mood killer for a while. Ho hum, ho hum, ho hum. Yeah, not great. Seriously, death of a loved one. Yeah. Hmm. Just saying. Little rough. Receive report card. Sweet. Let's get to know each other better. One vehicle's been ruined. The usual stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Anyway, didn't wasn't she Sandra like the, so we, Hey, let's get to know each other thing. Sweet. Azo to me. There's no glasses left to skip. Lorsham. Wamita. Golovnia. Yes. I am a horrifying miserable mood. I don't know. I think I should be in a pretty good mood. Nice sleeping in her bed. It's like, yeah. Arna Nikaya Janza. Overall GPA A. 
That's what. I believe that means I ship out tonight. All right. Babies, all of them, including myself. Jeez, really? I don't even know who the fuck you are. Like we've been roommates for a term, and I still don't know who the fuck you are. You, on the other hand, <laughs> let's go introduce ourselves. Me oh, and you. I don't know. I fucking can't click on people. Friendly. That's about day. So what? Are, what do I know about you? Absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. I thought I was supposed to know everything about my roommates. Oh, Date. Takub, love. So, dude. No, it's not that. You get to know her. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, really? Man, you fucking killed her. But yeah, I'm mean, gonna take a turn off university apparently to recover from murder. Being a murderer, I mean. <sighs> yeah, get to know her a little bit, chum up to her. Then do that. And then when you're done with all that, you can go grab a plate, eh? More. I can. You got 20 hours before you start for this. Okay. Carries charismatic. Glad to hear. What the fuck? Oh god, somebody's turned on the fucking stereo again. You know what? I have a solution to this. And I get money out of it. <laughs> All your stereos are now forfeit because of content ID. Can pick up object in use. And that one will be used soon. All of your stereos are belong to us. What the fuck? Are you neurotic? I'd believe it. Uh, yeah, my mood rating is not coming out of miserable. Seriously. I'm too busy being mourning. Maybe I should repair that. That'd be good for the uh, old stats, wouldn't it? Come on now. Greet her. Go. God damn it, will you stop crying like a fucking sissy baby? You killed the bitch. Man. Some people. More doing so. Preach. Uh, Supposed to borrow a game of skills. Let's see if she likes that. Oh yeah, console her. <laughs> Being social, good. <laughs> All right, she's more neurotic. And I originally anticipated uh, romantic. Compliment her personality. No way. You're supposed to compliment girls' looks, right? Yeah, 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 that's how it works. So you compliment appearance. Give her a couple of compliments of her appearance. And then give her flowers. Romantic red. Give her some roses. Now what do you need? End of the term. <laughs> Malasina poo? Yeah, there you go. Oh! Poor guy. Yeah. 
See, nailing it. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I have a strange feeling I probably should avoid allowing my sim to do anything at all. <laughs> Last time he had autonomy in the sore situation, he screwed up really hardcore. Like, like I would screw up. Nerky Mali. Nashi Malas. All right, we're doing it. Apparently, she's rich, so sweet. Uh, romantic. Compliment her personality. I guess that works. Nandi Dooler. Sean Levy Tanner. Very alluring. Um, 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 hmm. Flirting is a bad call. Like, we know she's unflirty. Uh, let's give her another pickup line. Uh, <laughs> Charge. <laughs> mm. Yeah, whatever we do, we do not want to use flirt, though. Confess attraction. Aha. Uh -huh. That'd be hard to watch. Lovely, I caused the game to freeze up. <laughs> Being flirty. So I take it that didn't work out so well, eh? Compliment appearance. Compliment personality. We'll get it. Let's just do another round of social media. Sci-fi fan. Yeah. 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 Maybe. Very alluring. Good. Romantic. Give her a hug. A hug. There you go. See, we're nailing this now. On a side note, I thought I said, all of your stereos are belong to us. Or sorry, our belong to copyright content ID bot. All of your stereos are belong to content ID bot. You are on your way to destruction. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Now, where were we? Flirtatious jokes? Yeah, could go, I guess. Uh, let's make a flirtatious joke. And then maybe that. We stand a chance at least. <laughs> Girl crying about dead roommate? Make a flirtatious joke. That solves everything, right? Is that a literal soapbox? <laughs> Oh! Ah! Whoa! Dark reps. No. Well, that was a No. Eh. Come under appearance and personality. So that is a literal soapbox. Dummy, I don't want to see my father. I want to do it. Uh, we'll get her, don't worry. Give her more hugs. Uh, girls love hugs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everything I know about them. <laughs> Everything I know about women says they love hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Also, they all, I, I know they love massage. I don't know if she likes me enough for that, though. Awesome, Yad. Seriously, go give your girlfriend a massage. Works wonders. That much I promise. I may have never dated them before, but I have studied them in the wild. I can tell you, they love massages. Rejected first kiss. Hey, we're, we're getting there, you see? Alright. Hold hands. Maybe. 
Credit chance. <laughs> Chima Alikio. I think the reason she probably is rejecting first kiss and stuff is probably the morning roulette and stuff like that. Extremely irresistible. Okay, now I've got it. Extremely irresistible. Man, I really wish it was this easy to think, to see people's thoughts. It would make my life a lot easier. All right, let's nail this. Huh? Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Rub it mm. So close. At least that doesn't stack, right? Getting chilly. Eh, it's fucking no shit. Welcome to Canada. Eight degrees in the fucking goddamn summer. All right. I based the uh, weather system off of Canada's. So it's going to be a long winter, gents. Get ready for that, eh? <coughs> uh, wait, what do we do there? Flirtatious joke, cold hands. Armless hug. And then we'll try the whole confess attraction thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something yeah, we yeah, probably yeah, have to do before yeah. getting a kiss. Successfully. Very alluring. We're not extremely irresistible. Oh no. Hmm. We'll do it. We'll get a chance. There we go. Alright, extremely irresistible. And she now regards me as a friend. Haha. I don't know what embracing is. It turns out technically a kiss or a hug. It really could go either way. Oh. Reject it again. Hey, I have some green there. At least a little bit. Uh. Well. Perhaps it is another day that that shall be done. Because. To be do. The whore? The whore? Mommy, Zob. Complain about video games. Woohoo! Listen to something. Yeah. Just build up the friendship a little bit. We had a bit of a romantic thing kind of going on. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Bitch, please, you're vampire. You're supposed to hate werewolves. I mean, other way around. You're a werewolf. You're supposed to hate vampires. Oh, wow. Magic to be flirty. Malakani, see ya? No. Yeah, good. Jim, go home for the semester. And I do actually believe that happens at 9. Which has apparently been causing a significant number of issues. Oh, uh, well, it'll be good to take a week off and probably just play chess for a week or something. Really grind out the skills, you know? It should be good. I'm not certain if I'll record the whole thing of it, but I might just do a time lapse of chess playing. Yeah, there we go. Travel home. It's time to go. Met some new people. Kinda got somewhere with a girl. Not really, but hey, that's as far as I've ever gotten with a girl. And last time I hugged a girl was in grade 8. Oh yes, I remember that well. I got like 16 hugs. <laughs> uh, I suppose that's more of a, not so much a romantic thing, so much as, oh, your mother just died. Here, let me give you a hug, sort of thing. <laughs> to be fair. Uh, oh yes, surplus sliding doors. Aha. That's totally what surplus sliding doors are. There we go. Flora Funky for Floor Lamp. This is like a fucking loading screen in a game. I have no idea. Oh, that's it. That's totally it right there. That's the floor lamp. Sometimes you have to, you know, look around a bit. 
What? No, no, it can't be the floor lamp because it's the outdoor living stuff, right? Right? Yeah. Rustique wall lantern. Yeah, it's totally that one. The suitable sofa. Entree appetizer dish. Maybe that. This is really actually quite terrible because for some reason they didn't put the uh, loading screen minigame on a different processor thread than the actual loading. So. The Marigold. Is that that? Maybe that? Yeah. The Super Florendous Brand Serving Dish. I don't know. It's, so yeah, it's kind of hard to tell if you clicked on the right thing or not. But it's a simple hidden object game. Find Morgan Stargazer. That's obviously that. And you earn lifetime happiness. Hey, there we go. We're home. Kind of. <laughs> Once everything loads up. Okay, we are literally at the edge of town. Woohoo! 277 loading screen points. Woohoo! And apparently, by everything else, how the fuck do we end up here? It's like, wow, what's that? It's a university. Why the fuck am I at a park now? How drunk did I get in that taxi? <laughs> That's probably about how I'd be feeling. It's like, did I get, like, drugged? Dude spiked my drink, man. Man, my ass is real sore. Oh, wonder what happened. But yeah, I think I'm going to be taking a couple of days off from university from uh, morning, you know, witnessing death and all that shit. Take a couple of days off of uni and uh, probably play a lot of chess. Maybe, you know, study a little mechanical. Just get the old skills up. So, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your life... Lifetime. I have lifetime points on the brain, guys. Your lovely, lovely host, Calvin.